Hi, how are you? Hey man, how's it going, Kyle? Doing well. Staying busy? Yeah, yeah, I've been pretty busy lately, yeah. I think everybody is. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, last week was really bad. I had just a ton of stuff going tough. on, so this week's not quite as bad, thankfully. Yeah, I think hopefully, at least my mind's a little on spring break somewhat. Yeah, yeah, I'm just ready for the weather to warm up. All right. All that. Some nice, nice sunshine, along with daylight. I'm yeah. Used to... How's old James been? Yeah, he's been busy too. He's actually out right now. He's at a conference up in Northwest Arkansas. So. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I think it's doing bike and pet stuff up there. Is, yeah, I know. I've seen, yeah. I've seen an email come across, uh, I think Peter may be up there, the mayor too. Oh, so that's good. Yeah, so he's been staying pretty busy too. Yeah. It's getting turned around grant time to start reapplying for grants and all this stuff. Yeah. Well, I was looking for the email for the code. Thank you. Hi, how are you?
Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I guess I'll sit in Peter's seat since he's not here. <laughs> Responding to your hello. Oh. Uh, well, I am doing well. This is the one time of year I get to wear this hat, so I uh, <laughs> thought I had somewhere to go to it. <laughs> uh, is anybody calling in? No. They wouldn't get them. Um, do we have to do it to stream? What do you mean? Zoom. Yeah, well, we have to set it up beforehand if we do it now. I didn't set it up, or the city has to set it up through the IT department. What is it? I gotta pull out the bylaws here. How many is a quorum for our? Over half, isn't it? Over half of our total number of members. Right. Um, so we'll get the list on the, is it the last agenda or the. Uh, right. There has everybody in their terms. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. I mean, is it nine? Yeah. So we need five people. Well, what is it? Uh, you're, you're gonna make a quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Don't want us to be there. Our secretary. Yeah, I'm gonna say we don't because uh, we don't have a secretary here to take notes, and I'm pretty bad with that. So, um, yeah, we can go through. Um, did we have? I went about about a cool way, kind of block around it. So you had, but you had one. Yeah, Did anybody else have one here? Or is it just us two? I have a message from John Ross on his, and then I looked around uh, Simon. So we've got three. Did we have how many total was that? Was that five? I think it was like three or four. Well, we can discuss this. Um, can you have a password in here for the internet, or do you have to do your own? I haven't figured it out. Okay. I've had the same question. Um, yeah, I think that's about the only thing prepared to discuss right now would be the safe routes to school any information we have on that um, and I can talk about our committee report a little bit uh, otherwise I think this is going to be a short uh, shorter meeting here um, and Kyle you had a letter I do yeah it's right here we can start with that yeah, and actually, I have the executive summary if you want to pass that around. Too. Okay, cool. I'm guessing that you all are pretty familiar with the Connect Conway project. Um, but that has a little more information about it on there. Do you have this as a, I'm assuming you have this as a file? Uh, yeah, I can send that to you all if that would be more helpful. Yeah, just so everyone, because we're missing a few people. Yeah, I think, actually, I might have to scan it uh, and then send it to you. Okay. I can get that to you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and you have the EPAB email address oh yeah I did, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> i guess yeah you're on the mailing list so um yeah we should probably take a vote on yeah i'll figure that out uh so what this was i get you just emailed me right that was, yeah, I did, yeah so this is a um what are we calling it a letter of a letter of support support okay hey Hello. 
I was checking to see if people brought their bike in or not. <laughs> that would have been smart to ride our bike. So this is a letter of support for the Connect Conway grant or project that's for applying the for the raise, yeah. raise grant. Um, I actually haven't. Did you? Was it attached there? I did not attach it. Actually, okay. I think I might have it here, so I might be able to just send it to you all. Okay, perfect. Give me just a sec. So I haven't, I haven't read over it, but uh, I assume it's basically just stating our support for the project. And yeah, but yeah, if uh, I think we're gonna send that out and have everyone look at it, and I assume, assume everybody's in support, and we'll uh, sign that and get it back. So just is everybody familiar with the, you're talking about the raise grant right yeah okay. yeah yeah the what thing? The raise grant the so the two are the same connect conway and the raise grant is the same so thing that's the application for connect conway the connect conway is the wait so that, the connect conway is the actual name of the project and the raise grant is just what we're applying for for the project and so the letter is in support of the application the yes. grant application yes so this is going to go to the USDOT. Right. Do we know anybody that has a connection with them? Uh, I know Aaron Knight has got a lot of connections. So I know he's also sent letters to other people so far. So I guess Clark, uh, Clark Tucker is personal friends with Pete Buttigieg. Oh, really? Yeah, he, uh, like they're in their wedding. Like he was in, Pete was in Clark's like grooms them or whatever so oh wow yeah so uh, he's this person clark. so clark tucker he ran for the house he's an attorney but he ran for the he ran against fred Hill uh a couple of years ago in 2016 i guess it was local is he yeah, local? He's, he's a little rock guy central little rock high school guy uh but um i i don't know him that well i don't know clark all that well but uh you know if somebody knows clark it might be a nice thing because he and Pete are, he and Pete are like like text and that sort of thing. Like uh, he was up in Vermont, he was up in New Hampshire and, you know, like walking the streets with him and stuff. So they're, they're pretty close. Um, but uh, he's kind of out of politics. Well, no, he's, he's still no, he's a state senator. State, state senator yeah. yeah. So out of national politics, but uh, in, in, uh, in state politics. So, but, um, but yeah, so it might be worth a try. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I can let the other guys know. Yeah. I mean, we all know, I mean, if you have a friend that calls you or a close connection, that gets your attention a lot more to pay attention to these applications. Your connection. David, I think you are our uh, forum, so. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. We're glad you're here. <laughs> so we can, yeah, we haven't really started. You're going to send us a copy of this. Today. Ah, brilliant. Good, good, good. Hey, can I really quickly just have everyone say their name? It'll be faster than me trying to. Look up and remember everybody's name, frankly. Jeremy Waits. Lori Ross. Thank you. I, I did have it right. Yeah. Good. Jeremy Chrysler, CH. That's who you are. I looked over and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I know. oh, God. I mean, the Dapper hat. <laughs> Who is this guy? Is this some townie that's just going to get in a fight? Or what's the deal here? I always think of a hat like this and newsies and people fighting. Yeah. Here, so I was like, Ah, uh, Kyle Kelly. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Kelly. Kelly. Rory Gason. There we go. Thank you all. all right. I'm with you there. I couldn't have named yeah. every single person. Oh, and I'm I mean, here. We so, here. so we can, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I guess we can, so we need to approve February. We didn't have official minutes from last month, did we? Wait, last month was February. We last need to approve February. January. We didn't have them for, we, we had them for January. We didn't approve them for right. January. So we still need to approve January, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Motion yeah. Motion to approve. Second. Anybody else? Second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all in favor? Aye. Yeah. yeah. And let's see. That was January's minutes. We also need to approve February. Uh, oh. Did we have, were they official minutes from last month or? Did we not have a quorum last month? We, no, because there was a lot of people that so couldn't vote. 
that we so, called in. Oh, in that's person. right. Said so we didn't have a physical. Should we make a mo? I make a motion that we include the minutes that were taken as part of our minutes to notify the public what happened. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> fair because we just we I couldn't. Second that. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we couldn't vote on anything to to take official board action. But we action. can vote today. Yeah, but we so can, we can move oh, to there's approve. no reason we can't include those as notes. Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, uh, motion in a second. All all in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Any opposed? Cool. So I think we're gonna skip ahead to. Oh, I guess, did we have anything else that we want to discuss for the, anybody else have any questions about the Connect Conway letter uh, or just raise your hand, I guess, in general? When's that due date? Uh, it's late April. We're going to try to submit it earlier than that. That's good. <laughs> so we ran into that problem before where we right. missed, missed the it. deadline I remember. Uh, just a tiny bit. So I was never did it here. So we're that. shooting for a week before the deadline this time. That's good. He's preaching out to Clark would actually work. I don't know. I mean, I, feels, I don't know that he cares that much about transit, you know? Yeah. Uh, it feels weird, but I'm like, he does have a personal connection. No, I mean, so the thing is, who has the connection with Clark here in town? Who knows him? Uh, I built his website, but yeah, I, don't, I don't know him that well, you know? Yeah, so, like, <laughs> yeah it's about the uh, same. About the same. Like, I can't say with him, but... Yeah, like, I'll nod heads if I see him, uh, you know, in Little Rock, but yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm not... I would feel a little... I, the reason I haven't reached out is because I feel a little... Well, I tell you what, I will reach out because I'm, okay. I'm actually a Senate candidate. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's a good connection. Yeah, I think it's a reason to reach out. So. Yeah. That was fast. <laughs> yep, got it sent out. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. cool. So we can... I'll take a look at that. Um, we have to organize a special vote for that. Um... See. Yeah, so let's move on to, I guess we can have a quick discussion on um, this item that David sent to me on the sidewalks. I don't know if anyone here has any information on this. The roundabout? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Okay. I saw I, that comment on Yeah, I was like, that ooh. Wasn't, that wasn't cool. Yeah. I, uh, okay. yeah, that's... Which one am missing this? That's not on our agenda for tonight. We can. Oh. We'll have to visit that another night. Okay. There's an email that came, like in the last hour or two. Oh, oh, oh right. maybe I missed this. Who wrote? Uh, did Bill write a letter to us? Yeah. Yeah, I saw his comment on Facebook where he was like, "Are you gonna add a crosswalk on the fourth side of that traffic circle?" And yeah. I was like, "There's not a." Oh. I thought so. Much. Yeah, it's just it like, does look like there's not a sidewalk down there on yeah. the other side, and I think that's why. Like, there's like, but I mean, the there's a lot of places where we. Which one are you talking about? The new traffic circle. I think originally the reason they couldn't do that was because of the angle of the road. It was going to be too dangerous for that to happen. Oh, I bet. There, you, there's a logistical reason. I bet you're right. I bet it's because, because it's, you were you was yeah. an incline, and it was just too dangerous for that to happen. So people were going to have to cross and cross and. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So they that covered that. It was blind, and right. so okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can just get a response back to him and say they yeah. couldn't because it's probably ADA. That was that was what blind. they were. That's exactly what I was thinking. Is for ADA. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, didn't Finley tell us about this? We had Finley, a meeting Finley. about it in one of our meetings. Wow, well, but yeah, time ago. I think that's I think that's the case. Because that's what the, I think that was the issue that were down the profiles yeah. of the two intersected roads. Because like you said, the yeah. steepness on one side. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's, the, uh, what's that intersection, Tyler and Salem? Salem. Salem. Okay, I haven't been on that maybe. I don't no, I don't know. Know. I've been I've been blocked from driving it several times. So. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. yeah. So no, the the sidewalk issue that uh, I got on the agenda here was uh, something David sent me. So this was a spot where I believe it was a contractor. Uh, not sure who, but. I'm assuming did they they dug up the sidewalk to repair something? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whoever's laying um, uh, fiber optics, AT and T, AT and T's been laying fiber optics throughout, and I just happened to cross the street over at Robbins. 
Robinson and oh, it's the west side of the of the junior high. Yeah, whatever that street Davis. is. Davis. No, it's not Davis. It's Mitchell. The, it might be Mitchell. Um, anyway, they they just completely destroyed like the sidewalk, and then they did just the half assist if you'll excuse the French, uh, job of repairing it. Like, mm -hmm. just kind of poured cement out of the back of a truck until it filled the general shape, and we're like. I, I put the picture that you sent me on the, it's on the agenda for the, as an attachment. So if anybody wants to. So yeah, the main question being, um, I guess we were curious to find out Oh, yeah, who, sets the, who sets the standard for what is acceptable when you... Yeah, because we, you know, we did Davis. Davis is a great example, right? We did Davis. It's a beautiful sidewalk, except it, I think it was the contractor who was deciding whether or not they needed to fix something. Mm. And they have a monetary incentive to say, uh, that one's fine. Right. <laughs> and so they did a number of places. And, and you know, I mean, it's it's, right, it's that sidewalk basically, you know, for stretches where it's like, it wasn't broken, it's just old and not acceptable, but they were able to not, you know. It's just dumb. I mean. So what were, what were they trying to do here? Like fill where, in the, where the missing. Yeah, I mean, you can was. see both of the yellow. So they, they put the fiber up here? They, they dug it, so I think the fiber is actually along here. Okay. And you can see where all the dirt is. And in the process, like brought on lots of heavy equipment and so forth, and the sidewalk just can't handle it. Oh yeah, and you can so see the tracks. Yeah, yeah. But clearly they were all on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so the question so does transportation have any? Right. Say, that's what I'm wondering. Is who is that? Do you know? Have any idea? Uh, it should be transportation. Transportation. Yeah. Okay. We are still. I think somebody knows who our board member is from transportation. So uh, those are new breaks. So all that crumbling is new. Or is that yeah. old? Yeah, actually, uh, that particular sidewalk, like I walked it every day for two years, kind of thing. Um, well, during the during the pandemic, that was part of our like circuit, and so like it was it was the best sidewalk in the area for a while, and then it's like one one day it's it you know, and I mean right when they're working on it, you don't go in there because it's right. a complete mess, and then when it comes back, you're like, this used to be a lot nicer. <laughs> yeah, that was my question. Was you know even if the sidewalk looked like you know this old section that's broken um before it seems like if we're going to have someone there to who's doing work and ends up replacing it it would make sense if they've got all the equipment and uh well, it doesn't working on it it like, definitely doesn't make sense to fix one eighth of a right. panel right like at least replace the whole panel yeah, 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 yeah but it does look to me like the fact that there's all these tracks and everything it depends on how many yards hard. of concrete they had what it's, uh, at the end of their flow. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean this is this is not yards of concrete. This is like inches of concrete. Like <laughs> it's it's yeah, I imagine they might have even used one of those hand mixers. Like it to just do a bag like a of cement. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a that's a sad job right there. So let's uh make a note just to follow up on this again. I'll keep it on the agenda for next meeting and we'll follow up on that with uh if we have someone from transportation here next time. Um, it's amazing what contractors do. <laughs> they're not going to do more than what they're the That's why I've learned to do most of my work myself. I'm like, <laughs> it gets ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, like, they're following the letter of the contract. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have no doubt at all. Barely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. It's, just enough. Just enough. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move on to s some of the updates for. Uh, safe routes to school. So I got a message from John Ross here that I'll share. Um, ideally, we would all vote on this. And I don't think we've got. I think we had four or five. So I feel like we've got someone who's missing here who is going to uh, give us an update on. One of these schools. I never. Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> I was definitely. Were you one? I, I'm not sure if I was one, but I had planned on going through right school events. anyway. Was okay. It? Yeah. So I'm like, oh crap. Is Mariah one? I'm not sure. I didn't. So I we were going so fast that I didn't write them down. I was actually hoping David wrote them down. Did I? 
I, I, don't, I, I, I don't think I did. I think I was just like, people are going to visit This is schools. just one across road where we would suggest a... So we, yeah, everyone just kind of picked a school that was close to them, and I think we decided middle schools um, specifically for to kind of look and see if there's any small improvements that we could make that would have a, a bigger impact in terms of um, people being able to, kids being able to ride or uh, bike to school, sorry, walk or bike to school. I do have one. Oh, you did have oh, one? Right. I do have one. Well, yeah, I mean, for me, Harrison. Oh, you said you didn't, yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't pick a school, but I would, I just, I have one, I guess, if we want to have one. Sure. So which school? Uh, this would be for Ida Burns, but uh, or the high school. Uh, but Hairston and Donaghy. Yeah. That is, uh, that's the Reddens. That's Reddens route, I think, right there. And in any case, that's the feeder for the Tucker Creek Trail as well. And so somebody coming over from Hendrix, from anywhere over there, Otherwise, you have to come all the way down to Donaghy to cross at the elementary school. And if you're going to the high school, you know, you that doesn't necessarily make sense. You want to come in the back way on like Bellmead or something along those lines. But I think a lot of people would use Harrison to connect. I mean, my family and I do to try to get to the trail. But crossing Donaghy is always in a group is a, is a challenge. Try to get four or five bikes going at one time. So, yeah. um, you know. So what do you think that would require in terms of? Um, I think just like a crossing like exists where the, and you and I have talked about this a little bit, AJ sort of just as, as friends, but the, like, to me, there's lots of routes that people could ride on necessarily to get, you know, to get around that they don't need bike trails necessarily to ride Mitchell all the way up and down or Davis all the way up and down, but you do have to cross some busy streets and the, that can be hard. So if you just had a little button, you could push like you do to cross Tucker where Trucker Creek crosses what college, um, something like that. There's a flashing light, I think. Is it college? Or is it yeah, print? It is. College has the college has it's, the little signs that flash. Yeah. And then Salem has Salem. the. Hawk. I think it's Salem. Is the yeah, one. and the hawk we know is about a hundred thousand dollars, so that's a big one. But some flashies would be. I mean, and it depends because that's a faster road like Donaghy yeah. and they have plans to redevelop Donaghy I know longer term I don't know if it goes up that far yeah I don't know if it does or not but yeah I mean to me like we put in a I don't know how much this stuff would cost but I would guess that the flashing stuff doesn't have to be that expensive we, we put in a your speed sign in the village because people come down off Walmart pretty fast right mm -hmm. into the neighborhood there and that was like 3,500 bucks, oh, wow. right? So it really wasn't, and that's like with the solar and all that other stuff. So I would guess that you could put in the flashing things for like, it seems like- It seems, seems like about the same. Yeah, about you think three or four grand for each side where you could just push a button to cause it to flash and then you paint it, so. How is that one thing? How is, what is the Hawk, 100,000? Yeah, because I mean, it's gotta be built with, you probably know better than I do all the details, but yeah, I'm it sure is. it's gotta be yeah, sunk it's... in 30,000 feet into the ground. Yeah, the court board and, and poor of what is... and all that and post, I mean. What is so, fa what's the fancy part about that? Like, why is it? The, I'm assuming the electricals, more or less. The, the time, the electricals to control your flashing beacons or whatever. It has to be well, it's a whole light. Like it controls yes. the green. It's like an actual. Right. Yeah, it's like uh, a stoplight. It seems like it. I mean, you don't have to touch a thing, right? And there's some sort of. No, that one you touch. Yeah, you okay. touch it. Um, others have the little. Movement. But apparently the ones where they detect movement are notorious for failing. Yeah. So. I think a button press would be totally fine. Yeah, yeah. What uh what school was that specifically? That was I would say both Ida Jones and uh, Ida uh, Ida Burns, Burns and, and uh, the high school and yeah. the high school because it goes right to the I mean that's the back entrance. To the yeah, school. yeah, kind of an easier way to get in yeah. to the high school than going through, uh, you know, down there into yeah. the parking lot because you can kind of avoid the whole parking lot. Yeah, so. and that parking lot is is a whole thing. That was Hairston and Donaghy. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you could maybe do Independence too, but I would say, I would say, Harrison is actually technically on the route, I believe. 
and Hairston is a Hairston is kind of a through way. Like it's already a major yeah. sort of thing. It's got a bike lane. It, yeah. I mean, it's got implications beyond just safe routes to school. It's yeah, exactly. Just in general, for yeah, because it is Redden's route. route. It starts at uh, Hendricks there at least. I know there's a sign. We okay. Have posted so. Let me, uh, so John Ross had, I'm going to read what he sent me here. So he had Ruth Doyle. Um, he says, there are several students that walk or bike to school. However, most of them seem to live in the Brownstone subdivision uh, that is on the same side of college as the school. Therefore, the students are not actually crossing any roads. I did notice that several seem to ride through Ruth Doyle along the sidewalk and continue to Woodrow. I had is, the... Sorry, is is this the one just west of Hogan on college there? I, I believe so. Somebody can correct me, hopefully, if I'm wrong. Am I in the right, am I I in the right the spot? Same like right by uh, <laughs> McGee, I think. Yep, 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 yep. That's, 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 that's the one the I one. thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. checking checking on us. You know, I was at the I was at a city council meeting when they were building that big development there, and I pushed hard for a bridge across that stream right there. Yeah. And they were like, "We're totally going to do that." The developer was like, "I will totally do that," because the city council was like, "Yeah, that seems reasonable." And I was like, "Then all the kids from that neighborhood can get to the school." And I just recently went by, like maybe a year or so ago, and I was like, "Those sons of mm, guns." <laughs> Was it the ones that just did the sidewalk over there? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so for 3500 bucks, you don't get the pole, but you get two sets of oh. beacons. Do you have like the sign shopping site? I need this. Is awesome. <laughs> I, I went back to the one. But yeah, it's, it's basically you get two of these and then you can add the arrows. But to me, if you could add those, like the city yeah, will put them in. Really yeah. Official. So yeah. put, put them in for, you know, they've got the poles and the, the whatever that metal is to put them in there. But, I mean, yeah, for 70, like for five grand a piece to put those things in, I mean, you could put them, I mean, you really open up a lot of little crossings. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, for people crossing college, for people crossing, you know, I think a bunch of those could really open up a lot of streets that could be bike routes pretty easily. Yeah. So, but the Harrison, that's the one that stood out to me just because it's, it's the one that I've experienced the most, trying to get to the trail. So, okay, so Ruth Doyle is on the south side of college. Is that, that's the one we were thinking? If that's the one where, can, has anybody found it? <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter was texting me. <laughs> she needs to know if she needs to take Tylenol right now. <laughs> it is. North side of college. North side. Oh, where are we? For, way out west. Florida, so college in Paget, basically. Yeah. Oh gosh, oh that's oh, that that's one. past where I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know which one it is now. That's and one. so, okay, so there. Well, there's, all... there's a big neighborhood to the, south, to the south of it that feeds in. Yeah. Yeah. There's another school. I'm assuming Woodrow, uh, a little further. Woodrow down comes down a little bit further up. Gotcha. But there is a crossing right here. Well, here, let me let me finish this yeah, email okay. here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it says students are not uh, in Brownstone subdivision is going to be on the same side of that road. I'm assuming it's the one kind of right behind yeah. the school there. So uh, he said he did notice several seem to ride through Ruth Doyle along the sidewalk, continue to Woodrow. I had the thought that if we decide either of these schools might be an option to design something that would benefit both schools. Mm. It's an idea. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, Woodrow is there, and it's just woods. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a really interesting. People zip through there, though. Opportunity. Well, yeah. That if we took it, that might be a really interesting grant opportunity to build something that would connect all. Because there's so many neighborhoods there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, look at all there. that housing that could be connected up with a with an off-road trick because yeah people yeah. do oh yeah yeah i mean if you cut right through here on piedmont to there right that would that could be one yeah but for our purposes right now yeah yeah, if yeah. we're looking yeah, for yeah, something yeah. easy sorry so yeah. what is his suggestion for something easy he didn't it doesn't sound like there's much of any if everyone's coming or from if the majority of people who are 
walking and biking there are on the same side of the road, it sounds like there may not be a whole lot of yeah. It's not there's not going to be anything that's that's easily accomplished there that that's not already being done. So. All right. Um, I had Simon middle school. Um, the only thing that I saw there was so there's two subdivisions. Uh, there is an older one that is two that's across Stephen Morgan to the south and uh cold place is that, is that it? yes okay. and it has so the subdivision itself doesn't have sidewalks, sidewalks yeah. yeah but there is a crossing um across seben morgan right there at cody at what cody street. oh the street that's the street yeah mm -hmm. and it's i mean it's a it's a fairly it's probably one of those more expensive crossings. It's got the, it talks to you and does all mm -hmm. sorts of stuff. So I'm, I'm not always, sure. I'm always interested how some of our crosswalks have become as, as nice as they are in the places that they are situated. Yeah. And I'm sure there was a thought process that. I don't think I see a lot of, I mean, I'm not usually over there during when people would be walking to school or walking home. So I'm not sure about utilization on that. I know Seben Morgan, I want to say the speed limit's probably 35 uh, in there. So, and especially in the afternoons, you get the sun on that mm -hmm. side of the road and it might be kind of interesting. I don't think, I think the biggest improvement would be sidewalks in that subdivision and yeah. I don't see that. Yeah, no, see that, that happening. That um, right that's not there. easily accomplished. And then the trail, there's also a new it? subdivision oh, to, it's a the it's a north. to the north. Yeah. Um, and there's not a crossing on that side of the road. Um, that is, by the way, Bill Lucy Drive, is that what you're talking about? Right. Yeah, the one that goes right by on the north side. There's a sidewalk going to nowhere, more or less. On the yeah, north. exactly. That's, the, that's where Bill Lucy meets Tilson there is a total mess because both Theodore Jones people and uh, Simon people pour yeah. out into that. And so like we had a kid in Simon and in TJ and there's these kids that are just walking on the grass and his cars are zipping around trying to go and catch each other. I mean, it's, it's a real... Can you say that name again? Bill Lucy? Bill Lucy Bill Drive. Bill Lucy Drive. Yeah, it's a weird... And Tilson Lane right there and it's a blind corner because people come around that corner turning right really fast and then there's kids that are like on weird. the grass trying to cross and it's that's a weird three-way intersection it's where a weird one three -way intersection. one doesn't have a stop sign but nobody knows so it yeah not, it that's was terribly weird. thought out wasn't it it was it's it's bad i think and it was kind of cobbled together i don't there. think they was, connected and then they decided to connect them at some point so it's so yeah my only suggestion would possibly be a crossing on bill lucy but I don't think that's going to solve a, a bigger issue, which is the lack of kind of sidewalks in the area. Mm -hmm. um, it may do a little. Actually, now that I think about it, there might be sidewalks in that new subdivision. The new neighborhood has them. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. So that yeah. might actually be useful. But I, looking at our other options here, I think it it would be it wouldn't have as great of an impact. So. But we can we'll take note of it. And, yeah. Yeah. The, the Lucy, the Bill and Lucy one. There's a sidewalk that leaves Simon to the left, and it goes to like Jeremy. I think you're saying like the sidewalk's nowhere. It's like 12 feet. <laughs> and I, I, I just went because I, I like went through Bob Coolway, made a block, and like yeah. There's, there's like 30 kids that walk that way, <laughs> you know, into that neighborhood over that bird song, and and you know, I, I don't know what the neighborhood is over by Theodore Jones, and it's like there's just not a good way. They're like 600 feet from their house, and there's just no good way to get there, you know. We walk down that road sometimes at night, and there's very few cars out, but when there are, it's kind of a pain to. <laughs> Yeah, we do like a little shuffle. Like, why are you walking that road in right. the sand? And the road is getting pretty rough too right now, so it's a bit treacherous. Um, and Jeremy, yeah, I had court. Oh, I had courtway, like you know, not too far from Simon. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, just is that the, middle school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, only issue. Like, uh, 
pretty much kind of common denominators crossings at the roundabout. I see, you know, we have a striped pedestrian walk, but like you said, I think a flash and beacon. Uh, like my other child, she goes to Ellen Smith, and they see they have flashing beacons at the roundabout there. I'm done again, far, and it seems uh, the kids tend to use them when I come home from work. I kind of see them using them pretty regularly. What uh, what roundabout is that? That it's a Stephen Morgan. Stephen Morgan. Yeah, Stephen Morgan. It's a painted. It's a it's a painted crosswalk. You know, they have a pedestrian sign. However, I mean, I feel like I mean, I don't know if it'd be problematic to put the the flash and beacon. I really don't know. I hadn't drove it. You know, because I leave for work pretty early, just to see how many kids come from that neighborhood to the north. If it, you know, even yeah, if it'd be I, used. I mean, I think too. I mean it. I think it's going to be part of the Braves Conway, Connect Conway, too. It's going to kind of uh, yeah. come, I was thinking come through that there that as way. well, so they may kind of eliminate the some of it. I think proposed... It's called as Little Creek, but I don't... And then I think it cuts up there. Right, it's... I just... Yeah, I knew it was... It, I knew it was in the vicinity of that area, but not, I don't know how far or close. Kyle, do you know where that crosses? Um, I can check. It should be on the master map on the city's website. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to remember if I I think they did pick a different crossing spot. Oh, the the grant or the big, yeah the trail for the yeah 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 the closing. I'm not I'm, sure I'm they not might sure have. What I'm looking at here, they might have uh, a weird uh, black line that runs along the. Here's yeah, Courtway is kind of a. So that's it's definitely not as close to like. I wonder residential areas kind of the others kind of far off. So I, mean, see I see a lot of kids. That blue line is probably yeah. right. Soccer. I don't know what that is. You know, out in the field closer to Stephen Morgan. Yeah. yeah, I bet that's what it is. The closest subdivision I could think would be, uh, was it Nicole's Place? Nicole's Place, yeah. Yeah. And like you said, the same thing. There's just no residential sidewalks in, in that resident or in that subdivision. But you get a sidewalk along Stephen Morgan. Yeah, they, I know. It's just, it's just it, you know there. where you connect that to the neighborhood. The kids want to use it. The kids will be in the street. Yeah, I mean that's the. And those streets are lower yeah. speed, so. And that's the thing too. I mean, I'm sure there was a time where the development didn't think about that, and, and I think now, I think new development here, I think they require a sidewalk. If yeah, are mm -hmm. complete streets. Are we, or are we still taking money in lieu? Say that again. Money and leave, like you can either build a sidewalk or pay into the sidewalk fund. Oh, I thought you had to build a sidewalk. That would be wrong. Like it would be wrong too. I mean, it's, it would be news to me if we've changed that. Everything but, I've seen built has a sidewalk, even if it's between two sections that don't have sidewalks. Huh. So I'm not sure. Yeah, we I'm, have, I'm not sure either. It's been a while since I've. Yeah, I haven't new. looked at it. I used to live on Penny. Yeah, I used to live on Penny, and we did not have sidewalks over there. And I mentioned it to somebody in the chamber, and maybe it was even Brad. And he was like, "Yeah, we're never going to do that. Again. That's never going to happen again." So I don't know what that means. Whether there's like some sidewalk mafia that goes and man, <laughs> man. really demands tribute. I'm going to tell you, it's a mafia out there about it. I mean, I designed safe routes to school, and I put a sidewalk in Ben, and I'm telling you, those folks that. You know, they want it so far from their house. Which oh, I, under, I understand that. I understand the principle, but I mean, you know, okay. these are safe for us to school. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's yeah, the intent. So it looks like it's, it's going to be a separate bridge over the creek. So here's that's going to happen remember. here. So I guess it's not even adjacent to Bob Courtway Drive. Looks like it's going to be a little bit to the left. Okay. Not to the creek. So yeah, it's to the left. Yeah, it's, it's going to have its own bridge. It's west of the crossing there, it's west of the. Uh, Roundabout. Yeah, so we did right further back to I, the west. I, th I feel like there was a, like discussion of uh -huh. tying Courtway into the trail, though. Because oh. the parks, the ballparks, I think that's where... There'll probably be access yeah. points, I would assume. I would assume. <laughs> hey, let's not assume, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be access points, whether they're at it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it should be running kind of right along where that parking lot is. Right. right through here. They did just clear yeah. all that out. There's a bunch of machinery in there clearing out the creek and oh my god that's right we got funding for that didn't we that was the thing we passed i'm not sure is uh, that isn't it or is it 
uh, we got the soccer fields. Was the trail part of the soccer field, folks? No. This, this no. has been uh, this has been a few months ago that they were clearing it out. Like I think oh, the machinery's okay. still there, but uh, okay. yeah, they started on a while ago. I think they're they're done with it. So. The soccer fields was in that tax free allegation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I, I I thought there was some sort of. I don't remember. They were part, of, any partial any path met, something in there. Could be. So right now. Uh, not to speak for anyone here, but I think I, the uh, flashing crossing near uh, the Harrison and Donaghy intersection kind of sounds like... Sounds pretty easy. Low-hanging fruit. Well, looks like about four to two hundred bucks is what it looks to me. <laughs> Deliver. So there is a... I know I saw at the stoplight... You know a guy. On Donaghy. No, guy. Clark Tucker can get you a deal. He can get fifty dollars off. <laughs> there was some sensor or something on the stoplight that's new that senses bikes or yeah. something. Yeah. Which one was it? Across from that school that's uh, on Donaghy, Donaghy and Hairston. Okay. Yeah, because it used to be that the car sensor didn't detect bikes, Rachel, and so. Is that rude? Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, there's some little thing that lights up with a picture of a bike on it. On oh, it. yeah, I remember mm -hmm. seeing that. There's a little On the pole, I think. Thing, uh -huh. Yeah. So but, we will, uh, yeah, we can revisit this next time. And um, if I'm missing somebody who had a school, we can hear from them. When is, it, when is the day or the month or whatever for safe routes? I uh, guess it needs to be before May. May, or May is bike, bike to school. Month. And whatever the date is in the fall is walk to school. So yeah, October. Yeah, we got two months. Two months. Hey, how fast is your? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Seventeen months of the time. Yeah, it's on a boat just <laughs> yeah, off the coast right. of uh, California. It'll get you actually. To these, are, these are actually probably domestically produced. I guess yeah, this stuff. Is, I mean, there was a panel. The LEDs might not be, but. But the stuff, signs and stuff, you can print that no problem. Here. Yeah, we can uh, we can rig something up if we need to. So, what do we think next step is for do we, this? Do we, we take this to transport? Well, I think yeah. I want to hear from whoever had the one other school, ah. and then have the. Ideally, I think we've got a quorum, but I'd ideally like to have everybody. Um, Kind of agree on it and i don't know i didn't come into this anticipating this would be something that could be accomplished for this uh before may but um we can continue to what about if we what about if we sent it out with the minutes uh i mean we're gonna have to vote on this letter so yeah we'll uh no terry mentioned something about championing one school and Seeing so, you know, that's going to be like the model, right? To implement in other schools and part of the PE or physical education, getting with the PE teachers and incorporating. Maybe that's for bike to school. I don't know. I, I, I may get them confused. I knew I knew there was a discussion last. Week. So it's the same. It's the same organization, right? It's safe routes to school, which includes bike to school day and walk to school day. So it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. And ideally, you know, bikes and people walking are going to use similar routes. So. It's anything that involves so, kids having access to getting to school through biking or walking. I guess. So. And the national program is now called something else. Really? It's not called Safe Routes to Schools anymore. It's part of the Tiger? Is it? It's something really random. I've heard that word. So, it, yeah. yeah. Sounds familiar. So, AJ, so I understand what you're saying. You're saying because not everybody's here, we don't want to go ahead and vote on to do we one can. or the other. I mean, we've or... got a quorum if we want to. No, well, I mean. I mean, I just, think we I mean, should I get... approach. I would like. I would like us to approach transportation and say, "Hey, could we get a could we get a blinky light here on general sort of? Can you do it right now so we have something to show off for transport or for uh, to the school bike school? Yeah. 
wonder how fast they can put those up. Yeah, well, that's what I was wondering. I don't know. It'd be nice. Well, it sounds like this guy on. has got it figured out. Yeah. He's obviously <laughs> going to be out there with a shovel. You need to shovel yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to come out there. <laughs> me and Jeremy are going to be... Uh, <laughs> get the solar panels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the right. What do they call that? There's a name for it's people like doing guerrilla <laughs> infrastructure. Yeah. Like... Is that what it was called? I sent you that article. Yeah, I think I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's real infrastructure, <laughs> you know, where people oh, like glue, glue plate. Like in yeah. Austin, I think they actually use for bike lane protections, they use like salad plates to create these molds, you know, and then they just like they glue those to the ground. And of course they broke after yeah. not too long, but they know our secrets. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's right. People are going to know who it was. You're going to see AJ's, like, his whole car is filled with salad plates. Like, why? <laughs> you just really like salad? Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. I do. Love salad. Yeah, um, I would entertain a motion if somebody wants to make one. I, I'm i all for getting it done. If all right, I'll make a motion that we ask the city to put in a flasher. <laughs> A rapid flashing beacon system. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but I don't want that one. <laughs> we need a flasher next to the schools. Um, <laughs> a, a rapid flashing beacon system at Harrison to cross Donaghy at Harrison. And I think both people who are walking and riding bikes can do this. Second. All Anyone? in favor? Hi. Hi. All right. Anybody? anybody Every please? school needs a flasher. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And I, I think, in t in too, it helps the kids to understand if they go to these bigger cities to push the button. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Get familiar with pushing yeah. the button. Or... Well, and the other thing is, you know, that, that one at uh, Donaghy. So I used to work at AATN and I walked there every single day. And those were the sensor style uh, flashers where when you walked up, and like what that meant is it was just a free for all. Mm -hmm. And I would actually like to see it like one of the like countdown kind mm -hmm. where you push it and you have to wait and then it it groups people together because yeah. like there's no reason to impede traffic flow more than we have to. I don't mind waiting five seconds to cross the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, and as it was at UCA, like during cl class change, like Donaghy came to a and then, of course, what happens is drivers try to floor it between, between groups of pedestrians, and you make it even more dangerous. So but you, you can do traffic cone measures. They were they're raised raised dish and crosswalk. Yeah, but those suck. And those do, they do. <laughs> those are not fun to drive over. Uh, like, whereas if we're just like you know push the button, beep beep yeah. go. It lasts up to sixty seconds. So if you wanted to set it for like. 20 seconds to be able to cross, that's probably reasonable, right? You know, and well, just something to let people know that, hey, I'm trying to cross here. Yeah. It's, it's hard to judge the speed of traffic yeah. on, on Donaghy sometimes too, because, and people will turn turn down and be coming around pretty fast off down the hill. And so you're like, you think you can make it, but then you can't. Yeah, you know? But they're actually driving 45 and a 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think a flashing thing makes a lot of sense. But. Okay. I would love to see more of these. Frankly, I think there's a lot of different ways that we could connect across college, across yep. prints, and if they're only five grand a piece to install, like that seems to me to be a no-brainer. So do we need to, did we vote? We voted. Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Approved. Unanimously. Favorite. So yeah, I'll reach out to transportation. And I sent you a link to that one because Finley was actually open to like which sign we picked out before, so you know, I. Uh, you know, if they want to go with a vendor that's more expensive, but you know, I think they're open to using. Should um, I'll copy you on that email? Okay. Yeah. Can you ever remind me where Finley went? Uh, a rock. We don't talk about Finley anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, did you say you knew? Uh, it's somewhere in Little Rock. Somewhere in Little Rock. Oh, okay. Streets Consulting Group. I think it says on his contact thing. Yeah, no, we don't need that. I was just curious. Um, all right. Let's see. What time? How much time we got here? Fifteen. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so I am going to. Oh, we did stuff out of order there. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on our committee. Should be pretty quick here. So we've we've pretty much narrowed down what our recommendations or our feedback is, uh, and I just need to 
um, kind of write a intro. This is the Connect Conway committee. Yeah. Who's on the committee? It is Jeremy, uh, Josh Keir, and myself. And I guess the biggest thing that we were looking at, and this is not necessarily something that would be part of the, the main project, um, but these are things that we think could be implemented at any time and would enhance uh, this project. Uh, and that was something that looked more at the equity component in terms of transportation equity. So right now it seems like, like having a main trail um, in East Conway is great and is useful. But kind of the our feelings as a committee was the feeling feeling as a committee was that we uh, should have more, I guess, side paths or if the trail is going to act as a method of transportation and not just recreation, we should have it give give people the ability to access other areas of the city through not necessarily bike only trails, but on street infrastructure. Is that a fair yeah, I think representation? Yeah, feeders, you know, and there is some concept of feeders, I think, in the, in the drawing that James had, but I think there's just, there's a lot of streets, what I would call like underutilized streets that could feed in if we just like, like, if people weren't terrified of crossing, you know, Donaghy or whatever else, like it really, that opens up the trail to a lot of people. Kind well, of thing. So, it's, so the ones that we looked at specifically, and these were East Conway, because that made sense. Um, Ingram was one, that's one that I see bikes on and people walking all the time. It's a fairly wide street, um, particularly on the north side of uh, Oak. And, but there's not like bike lanes, there's no. Ingram is where rallies is. Right. Yes, right there by Rally's Rally intersection. And it goes all the way over to 6th Street. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a, a good choice. And especially with the lack of um, anything on Seabin Morgan uh, that makes riding easy over there, you know, ideally we would have something on Seabin Morgan, but I understand that that would be a big undertaking. And I think in the meantime, just giving people access from a diff that area of Conway makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, In In Ingram really could connect all the way down to uh, to Sixth, and that's going to be a really big deal for the uh, community center too, because it's basically yeah. right there. So like, yeah, making would... that a bike boulevard. Let's not use the word bike boulevard, but making it more <laughs> bike friendly. Uh, a bike uh, optimized street. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Ingram was one. What is this? Do you remember which one this was that we drew in the middle here? Uh, uh, also, to keep in mind, oh, that was Ingram, right? That's that Ingram. whole yeah. block over there where where the old church's chicken, the that whole block where the health food store, that whole thing is going to be um, another gas station. Hmm. So that's going to be. Oh my God! Yeah, that's what we need on Oak Street. Yeah, that whole <laughs> that whole block is going to be razzed. Holy cow. Is it one big gas station? Mm -hmm. It's a come and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come and go. Where is it? We're next to Palmer Music? Yes. And all of that's going to be gone. Is Palmer oh, Music wow. gone? We're dealing with that at the historic. I'm on the historic district committee. We're dealing with that now. Yeah. So that'll all be gone. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity to connect all that over there. Um, and especially if you think of in that area, like that goes, the Ingram goes through. So the the trail goes all the way to like the soccer fields, I believe that was the idea, and even to uh, yeah. the Don Owens over there. That's the idea, yeah. And if you think of you know that area, so like Ingram and what's this? I think there's like Pine and a couple other streets in there. Like if someone started from there and they wanted to use the trail, well, say they wanted to go to like the soccer fields or Don Owens. You got to go all the way down and back around and use, like, if you want to use the trail. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you're going over that bridge well, at Stephen Morgan, aren't you? That, that bridge at Stephen Morgan is the bane of everything. And Don Owens, Owens they're coming down and they're they're connecting uh, where the old Walmart is so that there'll be a whole section there, too. Yeah, getting rid of that um, 
that intersection yeah. of 65. Yeah, that, that thing is going to be cool. I wish they could, I really wish that they could run a trail down I-40, like, because there's plenty of right away there. I wish they could just do it just right on the outside and just kind of use that as a bike super highway. That would be the state, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's probably, yeah. it's, it's probably federal, honestly. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe yeah. right, yeah. I mean, maybe it's DOT that would do it, but it's 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 probably federal right of way. But uh, back from, like, the Fairfield, basically where Hampton Inn and those three push trios and that stuff, I mean, you could really yeah. cruise on that. It's just wide open all the way down to... Yeah, my wife oh, was my wife was offered a really big conference uh, to host in Conway, but it would have been a lot of Europeans who wouldn't have been able to drive. And we took a look at the infrastructure and we're just like, no, nah. yeah. no. Nah. Um, well, that was the biggest component of our of what we looked at. Um, there's a couple smaller safety issues that we were going to recommend. Uh, those mostly came from Josh. He was he was uh, keeping an eye on that, and there's a few other things, but I think that that was kind of the main portion of it. So, so uh, you know they you know the city is doing and has done a, a little thing the last couple of weeks on Oak Street. Yeah, you find Oak Street. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah. since they're doing that, anything up and down there would be great to throw in there. Yeah, I went to the presentation, but I, I was not expecting it to be a two hour slideshow. I thought it was going to be like the usual where you drop in and look at the mm -hmm. map and stuff. And I was like, oh, God, I got things to do. I, haven't seen, I have not seen the slides, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't make it there either, but I was interested in. Mm -hmm. I actually thought they were going to post it online. There's a there's a web I, I tweeted the website. There's a there's a website you can go to to I'll see if I can find that. I saw somebody share something to the effect that they were going to share the entire presentation slide deck, but I didn't know if that had been done already. Okay. Well, that is all I have, uh, and I don't mind if we end five minutes early. So I would make, I would like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Anybody opposed? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Hey, Thank we did a thing. For... We got a recommendation out.